Yeah, I'm Chuck Liddell. You're watching Icebreakers. Watching Icebreakers. My name's Adam Ray. I'm on the show, too. Try to catch the ball. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> Welcome back to Icebreakers, the first episode ever. Fuck yeah. Do we need like a, I guess we'll have an Should we say welcome back? Welcome uh, back. Uh, welcome to. Welcome to. Yeah. We're... Fuck, already off to a rocky start. Uh, my name is Adam Ray. You got Chuck Liddell right here. The famous Chuck Liddell. When did you know you were famous? What was the one thing when you, did you like go into a grocery store and somebody like. Oh, well, got you know that face? the difference, you know, I would. I was always known, like, I was a, in high school, I was the toughest guy in my yeah. high school and that kind of thing. So and people that, knew who I, you I, were based I, on I, size. I didn't know that. Um, but then, like, in, I, in in San Luis Obispo, when I was kickboxing and stuff, people knew who I was. Yeah. But really, the, the time when I figured out that it was, it, it was go change time. Yeah. was r- right through about the first or second episode of Ultimate Fighter 1. Um, was the first time, you know, I used to be able to walk through a mall and I could point out, that guy probably, by what they're wearing, yeah. how they look, that guy probably knows who I am. Yeah. That guy probably knows who I am, and that guy. What is the attire of a Chuck Liddell well, fan? Well, no, I mean, at that time, you know, guy, if a guy had a tap out shirt on, or yeah. he had, he looked, you know, guy athlete. Your you know, haircut. I, my haircut would yeah. help. Yeah, that helps sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, you could tell, like, guys that might know who I am. Um, I was walking through the mall after shooting that, and it goes out in, in uh, I think it was in Tampa. And just walking through, and this, like a, you know, fifty year old lady. Hey, good fight last night, or, or good fight the other night. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, just a random, like, just Didn't random think that was my people. Demo. No. Yeah, they're just such a random group of people just started coming up to me. Hey, I saw you fight. Hey, I, I'm a fan. You know, like, and it, from there on, it just exploded. The demo does span the gamut. Like, what do you think? Do you think there's like senior citizens that are probably into UFC fighting, or is that too crazy? <laughs> Oh, like I'm, sure, I'm some... sure there are. I mean, there are some. I mean, it, it just depends. I mean, like, what if there's just some 105 well, if th- year old? If you think about it, you know, I would. I mean, well, I, I was fight. I started fighting in the UFC in ninety. Yeah. So I mean, that... there's got to be some guy out there that's just like, I could take Chuck Liddell. I'll fuck that cocksucker up. You know, like put me in the ring after I get my pills. <laughs> would you? Is there a? What, is was there ever like an age you wouldn't fight though? Like let's say because you obviously see people now, and even Tyson getting back into it. Is there an age where you go, oh, that's not worth it um, to fight against because for whatever reason, or do you just I, go if the person's ready, they're ready? Look, it, it, fight. You mean talking about competitive, like yeah. being in in the ring or yes. in the cage? I think that's person to person. You know, some guys some guys peak when they're younger. Some guys can can fight into. In, into their older ages. So it just depends on the guys. It, it depends on right. the athlete. Um, and I think it comes down to guys making the decision what themselves. I, I'm always for, you know, you guys getting advice from their coaches, getting advice from the, from people. But, you know, when it comes down to it, it's, it, it's your decision when you stop. Mike seemed ready. Tyson for that fight. Oh, he, no. looked, he looked great out there. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I'm more proud to him. I mean, I, you know, I really, I really was bummed. The thing I was bummed about about that whole show. Yeah. Was he didn't do a long walkout? Oh yeah, you I, gotta I, make I, that I, moment. I, want, I wanted, I, I really wanted to see the old war, walkout. How just, just one more time, you know? It, but but the, 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 because of the COVID, you didn't have the, you didn't have the crowd. I want, I wanted to see him walking out one more time. You just know, that, the that hype, was, right? Yeah. That one, that was, you know, because I, you remember that? I remember that when I was a kid, watching watching him walk out Fuck for a yeah. fight. Man, oh man, it was awesome. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it's also. For any show, I mean, the same way like a batter walks up to the batter's box with a whole uh, intro song. Like, that's kind of a, and they call your name. Like, you got to that point, you earned that moment for them to really celebrate. Yeah, and I think that, and I think that, that show that they just kind of, since they didn't have a crowd or anything, they just had to let it out, let it go. They could have pumped in crowd but noise. They, or they, just, I, they didn't even need that. I just, I wanted to see, give me a little bit longer of him walking out, yeah. make him walk from further away. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him some time, get to me. And I'd like to see him, I, I, I think he would, I think he was, I would like to see him come out with that mean look, like he's ready to kill someone. Totally. Do you? Uh, did you text Mike? Did you have any talks with him prior to the fight? Or uh... no, no, I didn't talk to him before the fight. No, yeah. I, I, I know Mike. I met him a few times. Yeah. He's a good guy. Is that kind of like frowned upon to like the same way? You know, if I got a buddy that's shooting a comedy special, I'll give him well wishes a yeah. day or two before. No, it's not not at all, man. I, right you before, man, that? go out there, and get after it, brother. Yeah. You know, go, go take it to him or you know whatever you whatever you like to say. 
Uh, Kick his ass. Yeah. Whatever you want. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. Uh, break his taint uh, would be my thing. <laughs> Is, uh, has anyone ever broken a taint, by the way? Is that... I've heard a casualty. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. It's not something, it's not something you're going to announce. I, I don't think anyone told anyone after, but I'm sure it's happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's got to, yeah, certain injuries like that have got to probably be, uh, yeah, like left on the cutting room floor, right? Is it, was there ever yeah. an injury that you obtained that you were like, oh, I didn't even know that bone could be shattered like that or something that you know you got uh, in a position to where you were like oh man i didn't realize my elbow not really but i i will give you a funny story about um a weird injury which i I ended up in my first real surgery for something like that um was uh i had i dislocated my toe training for randy the first time for randy um the second time for the the fight title fight right right, first i won the title couture by the way not not newman the singer yeah (laughs) But that, yeah. but I would pay to see that fight. You, yeah. Randy Newman, be like, "Hey, Chuck Liddell, fucking, you don't got a friend in me. I'll fuck you up, bitch." <laughs> uh, okay, so you you do what's your tone? I, I well, I thought I broke it. Oh and so, shit! And it was it was six or eight weeks out because it, of the sound of my pinky toe. No, just the way it looked. I thought, thought it was broken. I'm like, ah, I'm not going to do anything with it. What's gonna, I'm not, I didn't go to the doctor. I was like, what's he going to say? Stay off it. I'm not going to stay off it. I'm trying to go fight, and yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'll deal with it after the, after the fight. Right. So I wait that whole time. And I and finally, it's still like two weeks later, it's still hurting. So I go into the doctor finally, like an idiot. And I finally go into the doctor and I go, I'm like, he's like, well, I got good news and bad news. Good news is it's not broken. It's just dislocated. Bad news is it's been dislocated for eight weeks. So we have to have surgery so we can, because like one, one ligament had, had, had separated. Yeah. One, one, one had gotten smaller and the other one got stretched. So now it wouldn't stay in. So they had to put a. <laughs> so put a pin in it, and, and so I, I wound up having. My, I have a big. I, so I'm walking around with this huge cast on my my foot. Oh, my yeah. ankle was up, and then everyone's like, "Oh, what happened?" I'm like, "Oh, my pinky toe." Yeah, 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 yeah. pin on my pinky toe. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, because they put on big old casts, and like, because they're he didn't want me to do too, too much too yeah. early. Well, that's what the whole point of the cast is, to prevent you from acting like anyway, you can move normally. Yeah, he didn't want me to not do too much too early, and it's like. Um, Did you get sympathy with it? I, I don't know. I, I once, when I shattered uh, my ligaments and tendons in my ankle playing basketball, I remember walking into a Rite Aid, had the huge boot and crutches, and I walk up, and there's a homeless guy outside of Rite Aid, and he was like, hey, man, you, you can you spare some change? And about to say change, looked down on my boot and just felt bad for me and goes, oh, man, hey, you have a good day, brother, man. And I was like, wow, how shitty of a position am I in to where he felt bad? He didn't want to take anything from me. But the boot definitely, you know, because you – it, it comes along with the pimp limp too that the boot creates, right? You're hobbling, so it's like people yeah. do. Did you have people taking care of you? Did you kind of? Oh take yeah, advantage I, of that? I traveled right away, right away, and they're like, "Oh, do you want to do you want to take you through?" And I'm like, "They're like push you through, push you through the air, airport." Through you did the that, front right? line. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah sure. I I hated crutches, so I was like, "Oh really? Yeah, I mean, I know crutches. They're just annoying. I, well, you don't, you don't realize how much stuff because I always carry a bunch of crazy stuff. I got I got a drink and I got some. Yeah. You know, my hands. There's always something in my hands. Now I got now I got both these. And I get I got nothing. Also, there's a lot of room for having one of those crutches get you you stick it in the wrong place and you're going down and like. We've uh, all seen people that, fall down on crutches. Um, it is not. Uh, I'm an athlete again. <laughs> I'm okay. Well, you might have that problem. <laughs> Probably, but touche, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, um, I think there's, uh, there's something when you said about like Tyson walking into the, um, the uh, was it in an arena or what? Where do they? Uh, where was that fight yeah. again? I'm not sure. The places are know. getting they're getting creative with where they're doing these. Yeah, I, I fights. mean, but whatever it was, it just it, it, there's no real crowd. There's no real crowd. So. How is that? Because you haven't, you never had to do that with no crowd, and be, you never fought during a pandemic, which yeah. you know uh, I think is a, a victory. But how do you uh, envision the extra level of self motivation that you need when there is no crowd? For ob- for most of the sports, it's obviously you hear the guys in football. They say, yeah. You, but you have a whole team on the sidelines, and so it's extra pressure on everybody to really fire each other up. But when it's just you out there and you got a smaller entourage with you, do you think it's tougher to really get that going? And do you, know, you lose I, out? I, I want to ask some of the guys because I haven't, I haven't been to one of those, and I, I really, I, you know, I haven't asked anyone how it is. I mean, I, I think I, it, it'd be, it'd be different for different people. Like I think some people get, you get in that sparring partner syndrome where you get in and you're like, oh, I'm just out sparring, some because it's not doesn't feel like you're, it's the fight time. So, and some guys, you know, you got guys that are gamers. You know, they're they're really great in a fight, but they're mediocre in the room. 
you know, you also have those guys that are really good in the room and then yeah. mediocre in a fight. Yeah. But, but, but you have those guys and I, I don't, I, it'd be interesting to see. And other things, some people like, uh, we're going to get to the point where someone's going to fight in front of a full crowd. That's never, that's, it's going to be the first time they walked out in front of a full crowd yeah. yelling at them and doing screaming. They're going to be like, Oh, my throw them off. I, you know, and they might, might throw some, some of the newer guys off. I don't know. We'll see. It happens. It happens to fighters all the time when they come from the small shows they come to the big show and all of a sudden yeah. they're like, oh, wow. Like, yeah. Oh, and they get, they get caught like a deer in the headlights, right? Yeah. I'm wondering if some of the guys, even though they've had a couple fights in the UFC now in, the, in that small arena when they come in and they walk out and they're doing the first full fight um, out in, what is it, Jacksonville, right? Yeah. Now coming up uh, yeah, and, uh, at to... the 24th, I think, of April. Yeah. So, yeah, adjusting uh, to that is going to yeah. be. I mean, it's, it's even for comedy, like going from, you know, Zoom shows to back to real shows. And even the real shows, like at first – in some places that were capped audiences, so it's a smaller crowd, so less laughter versus more. I mean, it's it, it's not as again. There was always some laughter coming that, at that, you. That's gonna be weird, a little weird having a small crowd and then like like so you, a joke. You normally get a lot of big, a lot of laughs totally. or something. You, you expect you get a little laughs, but yeah. It was still real funny. It just wasn't that many people, totally. right? But in your head, it's got to be like, wait, that wasn't loud enough. Yeah, like, you're like that. Yeah, oh, that, that <laughs> yeah, didn't, yeah, didn't work. Comedy, yeah. yeah, it was that didn't work. That didn't work. It wasn't <laughs> yeah. good. I, you know, but also there's, I mean, there's some drive-in shows that we've been doing, which is tough because people are in their cars and they're using clapping sticks to, to you know, convey uh, laughter, which is just tough to get a gauge on. But, I mean, I would do, I would, oh, go ahead. It's a weird, uh, clapping sticks. It sucks. I mean, it's not the real thing, you know, yeah. it's like, it's like, uh, I, I don't know. I, I can imagine that uh, for a fighter, like, you know, with a smaller crowd, I just was trying more new bits. I was trying to take advantage of that. Do you think, this probably does not correlate, but... Do you think if someone's getting in the ring and trying out because there's no crowd and there's maybe less pressure to feed off of, do you think they're trying out new shit or do you still stick to the game plan? Oh, I, I just think all the pressure is still there fighting the guy. You got a guy standing in front of you trying right. to take your head off. You're, 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 you're in you're, the zone. You're, you're, you're walking zone. out you're, the crowd anyway, right? Yeah, I, I was always, you know, I'm, I'm, I, 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 I enjoy the crowd walking in always. I always like to walk in as I'm walking you feed in off and feed off of, yeah. yeah, this is, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. But when I get in, I focus. I'm not, I'm just, I'm, it's me against him. Wow. So it's, I, I just You never hear anyone scream at anything? Oh, you, you hear stuff here and there. Like you'll, you'll hear a crowd, you know, hey, this, and every once in a while, there'll be someone to yell something. You know, you know, actually, that sounds like a good idea. Here I go. <laughs> oh, this is a good move? <laughs> no, no, no. He's yelling something. Kick him in the head. Well, you know what? It, I think it is time for that. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, that, that, that's uh, an interesting adjustment. I, I'll tell you the story. The first time I ever went, um, when I fought in Pride. Yeah. And I'm out there. I was out there in... Um, I, I'd already fought, and then I was watching. Like, I had my headphones on. I come out, out and up on the second, like on the first riser, watching Dan Henderson fight. Yeah. So I'm screaming, "Kill him!" God, you know, like I'm a fan. I'm a friend of his. I, I'm yelling for him. Yeah, seeing all yeah, this crazy. Yeah, yeah. My buddy's like tapping me, like, "Hey, man, Chuck, like, Chuck, Chuck, he's like, Chuck, hey, Chuck, Chuck, take your headphones off." <laughs> it was quiet because in Japan, like during the fights, they. They they don't it's cheer like a respect thing or respect what? and no if if you make a good move or a good thing you know, ooh what like you can act it's wow. the it's a it's a weird phenomenon you can be in front of I think it was eighteen thousand people in that place in that arena and it was Just very controlled enthusiasm. controlled enthusiasm yeah but they, I mean they, they're wild but it, you still had to walk out and you got the, ah oh, yeah. you're, when you're walking out but then when they got out there and you started fighting it was like <laughs> okay okay it was like. You could, you could actually talk to your corner while you're while you're fighting. Like, That's weird. Yeah, hey, okay, yeah, but um, yeah, what should I be doing? Yeah, <laughs> it's like it was. <laughs> yeah. a little, but I was I would scream my head off and like, hey, tap me, <laughs> hey bro. Um, <laughs> you're like, yeah. watch watch your mouth. You're like a bachelorette party at a funeral. <laughs> you're like, dude, you got to read the room. Wait, how uh, are uh, where's the place other than? Because obviously, you think UFC uh, blew up in the states, right? Like, really yeah. made its name here. Uh, where, but fights have now taken place all over the world. Is there a place, and you know this better than I, like around the world that is, that could be the next spot for the sport to really like grow? Or does it have to be in a place where there's a plethora of fighters? Well, I mean, each, every place you move to, I mean, they're trying to move stuff. Uh, the guys in Pakistan trying to, to put yeah. a show together. Put, 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 I've talked to people, 
he about to put one there. There's guys in Vietnam trying to put a show together. Didn't Dana White take a, was it Abu Dhabi or what, where did they yeah, just they, go to? Uh, the, they have a fight island out there. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. that's awesome. But that, that Abu Dhabi's always had a lot of uh, been jiu-jitsu guys. And oh, okay. they, they do a lot of, they do that Abu Dhabi. Yeah. It just takes some time when you move into a new market. Yeah. To get them up to speed in that market. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you, if you move into, a lot of times like, even like when you first moved to UFC, I did the, the one down in Central America. Yeah. We were down in, and they, um, doing it down there, it was just, you know, guys just weren't quite there yet. They needed, they needed to be brought up to speed a little more. Right. You know, and they, they, there were some good fighters down there, some guys, uh, g- good talent, you know, that we had down there, but they, they, they were still a little rough around their ranges and they needed to be, they need to be coached, but it just takes a little time for that fan to come up, and and then you get, you start guy see guys coming out coming out. Are there a lot of? Uh, is there like an age that you can or can't start? Like you know how they say for weightlifting, they're like you know don't start weightlifting too early because it's going to stunt your growth. Um, is there an age where uh, kids might get interested in MMA uh, that's too early? Or what do you find is the age where you're like okay that's the I time don't to start. I don't think any age is too early. You know, they can start it just, it just in the womb. On, Fuck it. Yeah. Well, hey, right when you come out, it, it, you know, <laughs> yes. look, as long as you, you know, you, you go to a place, I tell people, they ask me about, well, what, what do I look for? Look what place make, make sure your kids having fun. You know, make, 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 let them enjoy it, you know, for a while. You know, you learn, you know, and you don't have to take great wrestling, seriously. wrestling programs, there's great jujitsu programs, um, martial arts, striking program, box, boxing, kickboxing, whatever, whatever Even you want to kids, order. boxing. Kids, yeah, get God, kids start boxing. Damn. Little, young. But you know you can do all those things. They can they can they can train and all all different things. Any you know, and it, it, it depends on the kids. Kids. Yeah. I mean, some kids are better, more have, have the attention span to do it at four or five. And they're, they're, you can see them. I see some of these kids on mitts. You know. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. See, I would watch. It's crazy. That. It's, it's, and it's it's fun. But that's some pay per view shit that I would fucking subscribe to in a heartbeat. Because I've seen videos. There's a really well, I, adorable. I think a lot of stuff. Where, you know, a lot of times they don't really they they, they watch the fighting, the the, con, the contacts and stuff. Oh yeah, those, but, but baby boxing, fucking, there's a billion dollar empire. Like that. You put like a couple four year olds in gloves. I mean, I just saw this video somebody posted on Instagram of these two kids that were supposed to be wrestling, and it was a big like high school gym, and and these kids couldn't have been older than maybe two, and. So I don't even know what the point of it was, other than to maybe get some uh, some some kicks uh, for the parents. But these kids started. They said, they, they, you know, started the match, and then one of the kids just ran down the other way towards his dad, and then he ran all the way back. And one of the kids was standing his ground and was definitely like trying to throw some bows and get him on the ground. And uh, and it was just like an adorable mishap of of no thanks. But but uh, <laughs> but it made me go, oh man, what is? The oh, but age? you know, but I I mean I I remember one one of my. Uh, Coach, I can't think of his name. I he was like a a freestyle coach that we I hung out with for a little bit. What does that mean? I can't freestyle remember. Coach. A freestyle wrestling, do oh, a style yeah. wrestling. Gotcha. He was a freestyle coach. He wasn't my one of my main coaches. Yeah, yeah. But we, we hung out with him for a weekend. And I went out there and watched his kid. His kids were out like they were, I think they were seven and nine. Yeah. But the, I mean, they were drilling like drilling, which is like going through the moves. Yeah. Going through the moves, just warming up. Yeah. And they had better technique than I did. I was I was, I was, I was, I was wrestling in college. You know, I'm like I, I mean, I was never the best, most technical guy in college, but but they were they, they had better technique. They had better technique than I did in college. What do you think was your strength in college? Like, if you lacked the technique, well, what I was you... uh, strength, determination. Like, just a, I was a pit bull. Like, I get a hold, I'm not gonna let go. But it caused me some injuries, I think, too. But pit bull that could have been another nickname. I feel um, like. I mean, Iceman. Made... There's guys with. Pitbull, pitbull is the nickname. I'll, I'll leave it there. Oh, for the actual yeah. pitbull. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you know him? Um, pitbull, the singer. Oh, no, I don't know him. Yeah. No. I, I met him know. once at the, the uh, Howard Stern show. I was doing the wrap-up show, and he was there during the uh, the Big Dog show. And I uh, I just played him on Mad TV. I had full bald cap and everything. And so I go, hey, man, I go, I just played you on Mad TV, man. It's great to meet you. Like, you're the shit. And he goes, what's up, my man? What's up, player? What's up, player? And I was like, uh, not much, man. Just, you know, just to hear doing uh, some press for my comedy shows. He's like, oh, you're a comedian? Oh, man, make me make me laugh. And I was like, well, why don't you come to the show? I'll fucking hook it up. He's like, nah, I got, I got other shit to do. I was like, of course you do, man. You're Mr. Worldwide. I go, why so many nicknames, huh? Mr. Worldwide, Mr. fucking Mr. Beehive, Mr. fucking, you know, Handjob, Mr. Handjob, all that shit. And he was like, I, so I go, How, why so many nicknames? And he just looks at me and goes, why not? And I was like, fucking, that's why you're Pitbull, man. Like, had an answer for an answer. Are there people that you've met from what you uh, have become that that really like took you back? You know, because I think 
for comedians, we want to be friends. Like, even just me becoming chums with you is fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, athletes for comics and actors are, like, fucking just out of our realm of possibility of doing and being a part of. So you have to have people like that in your life, yeah? Well, yeah. No, I got a lot of guys that, that I've met. And, I've, you know, I had some cool, cool experiences with, uh, yeah. you know, meeting guys that for different things. You know, I, I was throwing out the first pitch at, at Dodger Stadium. I and, um, and uh, you know, Tommy the Sorter was walking, was on, on the field. And I'm like, oh, man, it's Tommy the Sorter. Now, so you I, geeked I, out. I, yeah, I'm like, hey, I, and I never do that. Like, I'm like, hey, I need a picture with him. I went over, I, hey, man, hey, Tommy, can, can I get a picture with you? And he puts his hands up, start. Oh, like, oh man, like, yes. goes Tommy for it right away, dude. <laughs> Tommy knows who I am. I'm like, yes, I made it. No, because I grew up, my grandpa was a Dodger fan. From, he was from Brooklyn, yeah. Dodger fan. And So he got you into it. And, he, and uh, our family, like, if, when the Dodgers are out in the playoffs, baseball is over. You don't watch the World Series if the yeah. Dodgers are in it. Yeah, that's a good rule of thumb. <laughs> like, it was like, it went to... You know, we were like the only, I think we we're only West Coast family that was going, man, we're two games out of first. And yeah. It's 10 games in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that back East, that's normal. Like yeah. Boston, that's normal. Like, oh man. That, totally, they're like, diehard. Got, I'm like, you got, got 153 games left. You're good. <laughs> you, you can pick, yeah, I think yeah. you can pick those two games yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about, uh, did, did you go to a lot of games growing up? Um, not a lot. Everyone's we we, were, we didn't have, have the money to go to yeah. too often, but it was a big it was a big deal when we did. And it was it was a lot of fun. It is cool. Out. Yeah, I was the same way, man. Like you know, single mom and and uh, scrounge together cash to go to a handful of games here and there. But also, my Mariners were never as good in Seattle as your Dodgers were growing up. So like, we had fucking. You could literally take the bus down, get a pizza outside the game bring it in and get a ticket to the game for probably fifteen dollars. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like tickets were so cheap. They towards the uh before uh our ninety five historic season, I mean they were so close to paying people to come to the stadium. <laughs> and there's it, the stadium held sixty five thousand people, but it was like we were so bad and it's like um you know it makes such a difference when your team's winning. Yeah. Uh well Tommy Lasorda, that's a big one. That yeah. guy also no, I, so, you know I, I was telling tell there's another one um uh I met Steve Young and Joe Montana wow. at the back behind uh, at a back of an autograph signing thing I was doing, and it was like 2007, 2008. Yeah, and we started having a conversation. I was having a conversation with the two of them about being an aging athlete, and and that's interesting. About halfway through, I'm like, Am I really having a conversation with yeah, Joe dude. Montana, Steve Fuck, Young, about, dude, about, about uh, being an aging athlete? Man, this is pretty cool. Yeah, dude. I, I, you know the funny thing? I I didn't even think to get a picture, and, I, and the only reason I was upset about that was Joe Montana was wearing a Pittsburgh Steelers jersey, and my and my my brother is a huge Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh fan. man! And I'm like, how did I forget to get oh, the picture? I, like, my brother, would, I mean, I would, my brother would have loved that. Also, probably the only time you catch Montana in gear that's not his own. You know? <laughs> right, you right, could have right. probably sold that on eBay. Um, yeah, that's that's an interesting conversation too because you look at a lot of, I mean, just going back to Tyson, like jumping back in and not wanting to call it quits uh, entirely, and then you look at guys like fucking Brady that are. You know, want, wanting to play until they're 50. Russell Wilson said a couple months ago that he wants to play till close to 50. And it's like, yeah, nowadays, like, if these guys put the money in and the time, and Russell Wilson apparently spends uh, uh, just a little shy of a million, I guess, on his body every year with training, diet, uh, hyperbolic chambers, like the fucking everything that you can have at your disposal, he's doing. And it's like, not everybody has that. Well, yeah, if you, if you got the money and that, it, 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 you know, I, uh, when you, if you can, you know, why not? If you're training, if, that, if, I can, if you can keep going and you keep, you're able to push your... Do you think every athlete has that desire, though, to want to play till it truly is you can't? I don't know if everyone does. Yeah. I mean, I, everyone's different. Yeah. Like, I love fighting. I, if I've, you know, I, it was still in the cards, I'd still fight. You know, oh, yeah. I, you know, I, I loved it. There's not, it was a, what, what do you we not miss about fighting? I said, nothing. Like, I mean, I like training. I like, I like, wow. you know, I like hanging out with the guys. I like, I, I like getting ready for fights. Yeah. I like, um, I like fighting. I also, I always like fighting. I'm all fight. I'll, I'll fight every day if I could. Wow. You know, um, it was, just, it was always fun, you know, like, and I didn't, it, another downside of it, I mean, it, it, it is. Cause you it loved is. it. I loved it. So I, I, I mean, but. You know, some guys, some guys do it because it's they're good at it. And some guys just, hey, you know what? I'm I'm done. Like I've I've, I've had buddies of great wrestlers that just Tap at some point they're just like, you know what? I'm it's I've had enough. I'm yeah. Buddies of great baseball players. You know, they some of them. 
hey man, I'm uh, you know what? It's really just not worth it anymore. Yeah. Like I, I don't want to be on the road for, you know, I, I don't want to be on the road all year. I'm gonna stay home. Yeah. Like, and I mean that's the other thing for me. Like uh, like for for mine, like if I, you know, I I like being on. Be at home. I like being with the kids. And yeah, like, you're like, crushing the dad game. Yeah, so it's I, like I, I like I like being around. But I was always around anyway. The nice thing about about fighting was the training camp. You're just kind of home. Yeah, you know, you just kind of for me. I was just home, and you know, I, I have you know work out you know three hours a day, and, right. and, and I'm and I'm off at home. Yeah. Well, yeah. I just, have... I, I stay. I train in San Luis Obispo. Right. I always, I just stayed there. Did you always need to go to a gym though to work? Like, oh yeah, no, some I people like to have that. their shit at home. No, you know, I, I have, I have a gym in my house now right. to work out in, and I, I like working out light like that. But if I, to actually go train, I really would, wouldn't. I don't know if I'd like being. Gotta get out of the house, I, right? I, I want to go to the gym, yeah. hang out with the guys, yeah. go out, do my thing, come back, you know. But you know that that would that still. I mean, I'd be gone maybe five, like including driving to the gym, getting there, warming up, goofing off, talking to people, having lunch. Um, I still I'm gone about five hours a day. Like that's not a bad bad job. Fuck no. And your kids are how old? <laughs> um, I got seven, nine, and nineteen at home. It seems like a pretty great gap between them all, right? Because right. seven and nine, like you got the, their homies. Yeah. Uh, nineteen, I'm sure. Like it's cool. It always seems cool to me. And what I always wanted was like a older sibling, like a, a significantly older sibling like that oh, that yeah. can really like look out. For the younger ones, right? right. And also be yeah. like a built-in babysitter, which is great, like we were talking about. If you right. did want to... Yeah. You said you love being in bed with the kiddos, but if you are like, fuck, I do want to maybe go out and get a nightcap somewhere, go yeah. to a late night well, show. Well, you know, like, I told me, like, uh, like my buddies, I, like, you know, since I've had kids, I was like, I get my buddies, so, oh, man, come on out. Like, I'm like, you know, I got to be... No matter what happens, you know, I have to be up with my kids at 6, 7 in the morning. Usually. So... Well, well, back when we had regular school. Now we have Zoom school or whatever. Yeah, it's we a have, little more a little lenient. Home training. A little more later. We, we, yeah. we do a little. We start a little later. Dude, I don't know how anyone's right. yeah. figuring that out, dude. I mean. Well, we, we actually did homeschool instead. Because oh, good just, move. Because I, I just, it's nothing against the teachers, but they, you know, they, but they don't know how to do Zoom, Zoom school. No. They've never done it. So I, we went with a homeschool program for at least this year to get get through this year. Good move. And, and it's been great. I Wait, mean, so kids are learning so much more. Teacher, like Mr. Liddell? Was um, that, were you? T- well, it's Mr. Liddell and, uh, and, and Mrs. Liddell. Yeah, Wait, my, what, wife, my what? wife and me are both both uh, helping out. But we both have, both of us have college degrees. We both, you know. What are your go-to subjects? Because I can't, like, I'm trying to wrap my brain around you teaching, like, the Pythagorean theorem or whatever. Well, no, that's what seven you, and nine. What is it? Basic math? Nine, what are they but, learning? But, yeah, but I, actually that, I just default to my, yeah. my daughter who's into differential equations right now. So I'll let her, I'll let her take care of that. <laughs> she, she, can, she can do that. Yeah, she yeah, got, yeah. She's Figure trying, that out. She wants to be a, a chemical engineer, so she's going to school wow. for that. So she can, she can, she can take care of the Big math. Big time, but yeah. I, I mean, I was an accounting major. I mean, I, that's no what shit. I was my major. So, so um, you're a math guy. I, I'm a math guy too, but, but I. Do but, people know that about you? I, I think by now, I think a lot of people, I, it's been said a lot. People joke, okay. joke about, oh man, I, what can you do my taxes? I'm like, uh, no. Yeah. We had one tax class when I was, in, when I was going through school. Did you ever think about being- two, corporate and personal. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever think about having uh, a nickname be the tax man or even like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no. no. I, 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 look, I, I never had a, I never got a real job. I was lucky, I, I graduated- uh, I finished up school. I was already kickboxing yeah. when I was doing it. I was finishing up school just because I started it. I like yeah. to finish when I start. So I was just finishing up to just, I just get my degree to finish it because I started it. You're, are you a big, have you always been a big follow through guy? Like if you say you're going to do something. Yeah. Despite uh, how tough it is or despite how much you actually halfway through are digging it. You're like, I'm going to finish it for the sake of experiencing yeah, that fall through. Yeah, well, I, I was taught that from, my, from me and my mom. So like, you can try anything you want. Once you try it, once you sign up for it. You're finishing the season. Whoa. You, you have, you're finishing the season. I, because I you can care. learn something you're regardless. Learn, you're learning something regardless. And, and it's just, hey, and plus a, a part of it was too, hey, we we spent the little money we had to get you in on in oh, that season. Yeah. You're not pulling out now. <laughs> you're you're yeah, finishing that right? season. So, kids and, don't understand that as much. I mean, I definitely see buddies and their kids like a little more privileged that will like try something out and then like not be into it and pull out. I'm just like, man, just like – that cash just down the drain and there's kids that would have died for that spot. But like, yeah. Oh yeah. No, I, it's, we, we were, you, you, you started it and you're going to finish it, but it, it was more, it was never said because of the money. Yeah. We, that was kind of in the background. Really. Yeah. But it was, it was always because yeah, you, you have made a commitment to these other te- the rest of your teammates, you made a commitment to your coach, you know, 
and those habits. Fi- if you want it, you got to finish. You're gonna finish the season after that. If you don't want to do it anymore, I'm fine. Yeah, we, we can move on to something else. And it's so imperative. I feel like as a kid to develop that consistent uh, habit of just starting something and finishing it because like. Shit, man, that bleeds into like later in life if you, well, you start know, jobs and, and you're that's like where the, all, the whole thing with like don't get me started on all this not you know participation trophies and not having winners. Please losers start. Or, what well, do you man, think? I've got to take on oh, it too. It's terrible. I mean, look, that's what te- especially team sports are for. Yeah. By the way, I'm gonna break it to you, parents. Most of your kids will never be a pro athlete. Yeah, it's just the numbers. <laughs> so it's hey, American it's, Idol. <laughs> most of those singers, like, I mean. As much as I fucking loved when a kid would come in and be like, so I'm missing the Star Spangled Banner. And Simon's like, I'm going to stop you right there. You've got the worst voice I've ever heard in my entire fucking life. Your mom should have swallowed. Like, they, it used to be so <laughs> fucking aggressive. And now it's so PC. And now, now their version of scolding the performers is like Katy Perry going like, eh, is that what you're wearing? But there is like a level of coddling that I think is uh, well, yeah, not but, helpful. But, but- but you know, with sports for me, like like as a as a kid growing up, a lot of it's you're teaching people how to work for something, yeah. how to work together, yeah. how to work with other people, how to win with grace, how to lose with grace. Yeah. You know how how to how to work, get together with a with a team, and and you know maybe you're not that great in the beginning of the season, and and, and progress to where you like. I I mean my I had my daughter, right? She was on a soccer team. I thought it was one of the best things. They barely made squeeze into the playoffs, and then. Somehow they they went on fire in the playoffs and they and they they won they actually won in overtime and then and won the won the league Holy so they went shit. on the regionals yeah, and yeah. they went to the regionals and they they got just buried the first game and then then they came back and like they they won a, like a eight way tiebreaker to to make it into the the final pool and like then they went back and they played the team that beat them and beat them out and beat them in a shootout you know then they went on to to yeah. stay that like they didn't do it they, yeah. they did, that was two months later. For some reason, it went, let's join it, so they weren't hot anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It went away, but but you know that teaches them. You know, hey, you learn to get better. You you went out and worked real hard together, Tough. got better, and and got rewarded for it. And that's that's what winning and losing does. And another, you know, losing teaches you without losing them. Why 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 do it? Like I, me as a kid, like we didn't, there was no winner. I'm bored. I mean. I mean, to this day, if we play a game, it's, I figure out it's just luck, whether or not who wins and who loses. Yeah. You lost me. Yeah. If there's no strategy, no if there's no skill, is there no way to try to yeah. be better than the other person? So, you, so roulette love, isn't your game. I love comp. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because that's pure fucking well, well, or any, bingo. But, but any of those games are fun. Like, those are all like, okay, yeah. if you're going to, I'll yeah. go gamble with my friends, but yeah. I'm not a big gambler because that, that, I mean, it's, yeah. well, I mean, it's, like, I get people, oh, I got this system, you can do this. And I'm like, wait. So you're gonna sit there for three hours, play that system, Count and you're cards. gonna make a, you're gonna make a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, yeah. for three hours. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't, Fuck, I would work for three hours for two hundred bucks at this point in my life. Dude, I'd rather, for anything, I'd, 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 I'd rather like, twerk on the Vegas Strip in front of some perverts for a hundred bucks. You know what I'm saying? Like that's way and for thirty minutes probably too. Way less time, you know? Oh man, I think yeah. don't short yourself. I think you can do. I think you can do it in fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit yeah uh, dude you're so right though man there's there's and, and even in like you know in, in my business with uh with with comedy and acting it's like dude you don't if you're crushing every set you're not getting better you know you have to have those nights where you uh you know are are doing new shit and, and step out of the pocket a little bit and and fail and have those and maybe not you know at this point at least for me 15 years in I'm not, I don't want to bomb if I'm up there, right. but I know at this point I trust myself enough to get out of any situation or to always have things well, to yeah, fall back you, on. You, well, you learn how to, and if you, if you hadn't been doing that going up, when you, right. you, when you ran into that situation, you wouldn't know how to pivot out. Totally. You know, because you learn, that's one of the things you learn. You learn how to pivot. Like, yes. hey, okay, I'm here. I, okay, this is going the wrong way. I can get back. Let's get back to where the, this crowd likes because the crowds are different, like yeah. anything else. Like different people you know, probably like different things, right? Like yeah. it, 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 something goes better in this, this, this state than that state, wherever you're at, you gotta kind of know your audience yeah. a little bit sometimes. I wonder what, uh, the participation trophy. I mean, that's, that's still, I mean, cause I don't know. I wonder at what age you get that trophy as a kid too. And you like look back maybe 20 years later and you're like, I think most people would be like, Jesus Christ, they just gave me this cause I was on the team. Like I didn't even fucking earn this really. Like yeah. I, you know, there's, I mean, I know for sure, in T-ball, 
you know, I was uh, such a fucking, I was just a fat tub of shit. And I like, my, I was so fat that my coach, when I got a triple, pulled me over at the end of the game. And he was this coach, man, his name was Mr. Drew. And he had these fucking little T-Rex arms. God bless him. He shouldn't have been driving. He had like some sort of a like steering wheel extender. So like he, but like, and after one of the games, it got called for thunder and lightning. And he was like, everybody huddle under this tree real quick before we get out of here. And it was like, n- not everything was clicking. But he pulled me over after the game and goes, Adam's the fattest kid on the team and he got a triple. And I remember, and it was not, it was not the fucking, I know what he was trying to like convey. He was trying to like celebrate it. But I was like, this is a very indirect way of telling me I need to drop some LBs. But it did, but at least like when I got the trophy at the end of that season, I go, well, I had a fucking couple shining moments that made me feel like I contributed, right? Because right. in that game, my triple, and I end up scoring, like, you know, contribute to the, to the win or whatever. But season prior to that man i was riding that bench a lot and i remember even at that age at fucking eight or nine getting a trophy being like like you know pumped that i got one because everyone got one but then also like being like i i know i didn't do anything for it right and so i guess it's uh you know but also my mom was was good about not you know putting that trophy up on a shelf and being like you know celebrating it you know celebrating the the mediocrity but actually my my wife laughs because i um i put my uh my uh, my daughter's got my soccer trophy. I had it displayed in our living room. She's not. How, how do you have that displayed yeah. in our house like that? <laughs> yeah. You you don't have your belts are in the closet. Are they really? Yeah, they're on the, the floor in the closet. I, fuck, I never got around dude. to putting them up. I don't know. What the I don't, fuck? Like, I'll I, take I pull, them and put I, them up. I, I, pull, Shit. I pull stuff out of boxes, and she's like, "What is that? Oh, that's the pride trophy that um they gave me. I don't know why." Yeah, I think so. Isn't um, that crazy? But that, you know what? That's a <laughs> that's my athlete of the year. Like it was like you know, she's like, what? And you got your daughter because she got you know it was crazy because because now with the way times are like people don't ever do that. He, he waits and the coach goes like, okay, I'm saving the be- I saved the best for last. Yeah. Um, our the best player we wouldn't have won a game without her. Uh, like you do this whole speech about wow. it. Was Guinevere. The now, like with my daughter, you know, wow. and like it was, it was awesome, Especially, but, but, yeah. but really, was she, you know, she it was when she was really young, they're like five, yeah. you know, and she's got there and they were out there, and, and she kind of figured out, I, I think she got lucky, kicked the ball, kicked through, through like she's four goals, got through it, and she scored. And I went nuts because I, I was, it was one of those things. I went, me and my son were, my son was playing, and she was playing as her first year, and he was four, and yeah. she was five, yeah, and I went out. And like, like I watched my son's game, and they're like lost, they're running around like there's kids, you know, with the you know the guys with their with the glove on their head, you yeah. know, the same guys had their glove on their yeah. head, you know, those <laughs> yeah. guys, you know, they're running around, and like oh, and I'm thinking, okay, this is gonna be one of the, I'm gonna it's gonna be a long season, oh, you know, like, you know, like I'm I'm like, I mean, I saw my daughter's team, and she like they don't none of them know what to do, and I'm like, oh, oh. God, I'm like there's I'm going, so much of this you can watch. Uh, it's gonna be like, you know, and I, I, I you know, cheering yeah, for it. Oh, sure. yeah, I know that. And I'm like, I'm, I'm just gonna, and and she got out and she scored. And I could, the look on her face when I went nuts, like I would cry. I'm, I'm like the crazy parent, you know. You like, are, yeah. Oh, I love that, dude. You know, and the look on her face, like, oh, that's that's what I do. She, I mean, one of the games that season, she got eight goals, and there's other guys yelling at us for, for her scoring. She, she scored, you can't let her score again. And I'm like, Hey, maybe Look here. have better hey, defense. Hey, hey, we moved her back to the goal. Our goal, we start her at our goal, and the ball starts here. If she gets to the ball and scores, she can score. <laughs> yeah, dude. If you have a problem with it, come talk to me. I'll be yeah, right here. Come talk. Yeah, by the <laughs> yeah. way, and that's what shuts them up. They're like, no, we're good. Yeah, oh, we'll I, definitely. I did. One of her games. Oh, man, you laugh at this one. So I'm, I'm like going nuts, and I'm going nuts. Because they, they, um, they, they wasn't calling it fair for this, like, on, on like, uh, like a offside thing, and yeah. they, got, they got a goal because he wasn't calling. Yeah, he called it on Argos and wasn't calling it on my daughter. He called it. See, she did the same exact same thing, and she called it on her. But then they did it, and they didn't call it. And so, and I, I got I go, first off, look here, man, call it. And the, and the guy looked over, and went, oh shit, um, yeah, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Like I'm, oh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm, a, bro, I'm, I'm, I look, I don't mean it like that. Just call him, you know. You, you, Call it fair. Yeah. Like, you know, like, sorry. Like, I, I felt bad. Like, I'm not, I don't want to be that guy. I'm not trying to, try. this guy's, you know, I'm, you know, but he, I, I lost it for a second. I, you know, I, like, like, but that's I realized what, he, he looked over, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what's great about you being you is that, like, you're still uh, a person, you're still a parent, you're still, a, uh, you know, you get 
caught up in the oh, I, uh, excitement oh, of the game. Oh, wait, wait, that, that one, like, so I, I, then we started doing club soccer after that. And her, her team won, uh, took second in state or whatever, yeah. clubs, club soccer. With a, um, I had some really good girls on it on our team. But we're out there. And we did the first game, and this guy, this team <laughs> sitting right next to us, and they're yelling at our girls. Like, they're yelling something like, and so our side starts going, and then they the go kind of going, going back and forth a little bit at each other. The parents yell at the kids. Shit. And our kids, like, oh, that's, that's the same thing. I'm like, I'm thinking, I'll sit myself. I'm going, okay, I'm just yeah, letting go. I'm, letting, I'm, 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 I'm being nice for a minute. I'm just waiting, wait, wait, hear this out for a second. I, and then my daughter, my 19 year old, said something to them. Oh, shit. Okay, I said, okay. <laughs> I got up. I said, hey, guys, enough. They do whatever you want, but. It, you said that to your daughter. And no, I no, I said that to, to the other, to oh, other guys, shit, okay. to the other family. Oh, shit. Because they, well, once my daughter said something, if they said something rude to her. Yeah, then it's on. We're going to have a problem. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I, I try to cut that. I try to nip that in the bud and yeah. kind of cut it out. And say, hey, hey. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Hey, yell at your, yell, concourage your team. Yes. Yell at your team all you want. Yeah. Don't yell at my, don't yell it's at my not girls. not your place. Don't yell at my girls. Like, don't, don't, don't it's not going to happen. Don't do it. Wow, dude. And they. Like, oh, oh, hey, Chuck. Yeah, oh, yeah, man, we're fans. Like, it was like, oh, like, that's was like, yeah, of course okay, okay. Pussy it's, back. I, but it's, it's, hey, it's hey, like, we were just joking around, man. But, but, hey, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm like, these are eight year old girls. Relax. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> How much like, money do you have I'm, on this game, I'm, dude? Just, I'm like, relax. Yeah. Dude. Like, she she didn't intentionally run into your girl. Like, your girls are actually intentionally, like, power sliding these girls. Like, yeah. Because I, 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 Watched it enough. I know those your, your girls are taught how to how to how to slide yeah. ta- how to slide ta- how to tackle and hit our and you're you're hip, hip checking up. They're hip checking our girls, and they're they're taught that. And I'm not yelling at them for that because I know that's part of this game. It's wow. at this level. Good for you. All right. At this level, that's part of this game. They, they, but your girls are taught that. Don't get mad because our girl's just being aggressive and and she she missed and accidentally ran into your girl. It's, yeah. It's, she didn't hurt her. You're good, oh, dude. Relax. I can't sit imagine. Down, sit down. Shut up. <laughs> You know, have have fun. Just don't totally. don't don't talk about don't talk to my girls. Yeah, there's always a line with the parents at games. Like I've I've gone down YouTube rabbit holes of like parents at games, the fights, like parent fights at games. Oh. Type it in on YouTube. Enjoy the next two hours on me. It's fucking crazy. There are look, like like my thing is look. Now we go back to what we were talking about earlier. You're trying to teach your your kid. Most likely is not going to be a professional athlete. Yeah. Okay. Just so you know. And um, so when you're out there, remember, you're trying to teach them sports. I like te- sportsmanship. Yeah. Teach them how to And there's a lot that comes handle with that. Things, like, what is sportsmanship? Life, how to handle stuff in life. Don't, 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 you're, what kind of example are you showing your kid right now? Yeah. That you're fighting, you're about to fight a man over a run in a game. Yeah. I mean, you got these guys yelling. I saw one, I, I remember when I was a kid, I mean, I was, thinking, I was walking to school. These parents are yelling at this, this fifteen-year-old kid who's who's the who's the umpire yeah. of a t-ball game that's okay. thirty to forty about a guy getting <laughs> about a guy getting an extra base. You're like, what? I know, dude. Like, What's going he, on in your life? Missed, wait, you got one kid watching the whole thing. He missed one kid, whether or not he t- on four yeah. bases. Okay, he said the bases are loaded. <laughs> like he missed this one kid's like one of man, too much. Like, I like, touched my first hit six hours ago. <laughs> like this is not where my head is at. You know, <laughs> it's like. I'm like, and you're yelling. Would well, you guys are gonna yell at the kids? Sit down. Yeah, give him a break. Oh, I, I, I had one, one game. A uh, guy said something to this kid. Um, uh, he, he said again. I mean, I wish I was there for that because they told me this guy said, "I'll see you in the parking lot." Wait, what? See you in the parking to that to kid like the parent is yelling at the, that kid that's an umpire at this this point. And it, and it was out of and honestly, it was at one of those it was one of those things that they don't they weren't keeping score. Oh my god, dude! I'm like, I'll see you in the parking lot for a game that I'm doesn't matter. Looking, I'm like, uh, the park. Did he say see him in the parking lot? Oh like, my I, god. I'll see you in the park yeah, over yeah. here right now. Again. It's also like, hey man, there's one parking lot. We all drove here. We're all gonna see each other in the parking <laughs> lot. If you really want to break it down, there is something about sportsmanship that I think you're hitting a, a solid point on. Where it's like, even because there's some people that teach like, hey, do. Uh, what it takes to win at all costs and be kind of cutthroat. And there's like, you look at guys even like Kobe and, and, and Jordan. I don't, did you watch The Last Dance? I, I have not seen it yet. You got to check it out. I want to check it's, out, yeah. yeah I mean, I've even, been meaning to get to it. I'm a big Jordan fan, so. Well, dude, yeah, I'm excited for you because it's, it's just, it's cool to see Jordan now 
you know, just the way it is for your fans to hear you now talk about all this stuff, like looking back, it's really at an age too, where you're like, I still feel like I could go out there and do it. It's very cool. And Jordan feels that way. And he's, you know, but I think pushing 60, but like you're seeing him talk about uh, these things with a lot more clarity and he's removed from it, but he still has a crazy brain for all of it. But one thing he said, which I loved and why he had so much disdain for Isaiah Thomas when they played is even with, like they lost to the Pistons, I believe, I want to say two to three times in a row in the conference finals, right? And every time Jordan went up, shook his hand, good game, just fucking, hey, you beat us fair and square. This fucking, he's like, and he, t- he spoke to the pain of losing and having to go back and have that whole off season, but getting back to it and then do, and getting the whole season, getting to that point again and losing again. Still fucking good on you. You guys did it. And then when the Bulls finally beat him, the Pistons, led by Isaiah, walked off the court before the game even ended and didn't even shake their hands. And Jordan, that truly like stuck out to me being like, wow, if Jordan could put his ego to the side and say, you beat me fair and square, then like there's no excuse for a fucking kid yeah, or... Being a sore loser, is not, there's never an excuse for it. I no, mean, man. It is, man. We go out there, you know, someone cheated, they, they you, can, you know, whatever, but... Maybe, but you know, some do something they weren't supposed to be able to do that illegal. Maybe, but uh, if, it, if fair, fair match, fair whatever it is, yeah. game, you, you need to say, hey man, congratulations, they beat you. Hey, I'm hey. By the way, if you can beat me at my sport, hey, good on you. You're, you're, yeah. you're, you're a bad man. Would you shake hands with people uh, or talk to them after uh, after a loss, or would? You yeah, just I'm friends with. I actually, I'm friends with almost every guy I fought. That's when, when there's a draw. Like, I'm, I'm, I, if I see, see him all, I say, I don't know, I'm in town. Half of them I call, half, yeah. half the guys when I'm in town. But I mean, like, let's say shortly after a loss, like, it's not, uh, you're not calling them that night and being no, like, talking no, but, about but, it. Yeah, but even after that, hey, man, good, good fight. Cause I, I, I still think I could, I, I, I'm in my head, I always think, give me another shot, I can beat them. Wow. Like, they, they just beat me tonight. Like, hey, they good, good on you. you. You beat me tonight, but I'm, I'm, give me another shot at yeah. it. I got you. Do you wake up uh, right now? You were saying too that you f- still feel like you could do it. Do you have days where you have like you just wake up on the right side of the bed and fucking that smoothie or whatever goes down the fucking perfect way? You have that killer workout to where you're like, Jesus, I don't know what happened, but I feel like lighter and I feel springier. I feel whatever it is to where you're like you almost start going down that path and be text your wife and be like, Hey, no, like what do we? No, think? I never. That no. it's a long stretch for that at this point in my life. I, yeah. I mean. I mean, I, that's a that's a decision, and uh, that that's a decision followed by six months of work and seeing totally. if make it making a, a decision. Am I going to go f- further from there? You know, like you know, yeah. at this point in my life, it'd be a decision. Six months six months down the road, another decision, yeah. and then another decision. Yeah. So that's getting way down the road it's anyway. So it's a long way. Yeah, but but you know, I I, I, I still like I still like training with guys. I still yeah. like working working teaching guys and and doing this stuff and being around the gyms and. Are there any guys that you're uh, mixing it up with now that that uh, are on the up and up that you're I, kind of mentoring? I, I haven't been no. Yeah. Like my thing is like eventually I'm, I'm gonna eventually I'll get around to having a, a fight team and stuff and and doing Fuck that yeah. stuff later. My later, but like more or less when my 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 son son and my daughter are old enough that they want if they want to be around or if they if either, if either if either one of them want, wants to fight then I'll probably for sure for sure have a fight team. But I I I. I I'm enjoying spending time with them, and you know that if I had a, if I got serious about a fight team, I'd probably travel on the road all the time. Yeah, just so it's just not not something I'm interested in at this moment. But what was their reaction to uh, seeing the first like when they got to an age to where they could truly recognize what it was you were doing? What was that reaction? Well, I mean, I was retired for the most part when when they were born. Yeah, and so I, I um, but they you know I was them seeing it and. They they always thought thought it was cool, you yeah. Know? And it, but it's it was it was interesting to see when they when they first start realizing people why why do people keep calling coming up and calling you legend, or why do people keep <laughs> yeah. come calling you this? Whoa, and yeah. Like why? And then and then how come other kids don't have you know uh, big tough dads? They have figure no, they don't oh. have like figurines of their dads. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy, you know, because because you got to realize to them, I'm just dad. Like they they don't know any different. They yeah. didn't know 
they think and they think it's normal to have uh, oh, a little figurine of their dad beating up their totally. Superman and stuff. You know, that's like, awesome. By the which way, is, which is always it was, it was it was always cool because you know, like I see him playing. Like my son likes to play with him, and he'd always, he know, I always won. I would beat up everybody, dude. That's the whole beat up Shredder, fucking the whole yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the GI Joes. Oh, yeah. stand a no, chance. No, no, no one stood a chance at that. So that's uh, awesome. That was cool. By the way, getting your own figurine is fucking that is legend status, dude. There's to me, there's like cereal and shoe is very cool, but a fucking toy of you. Jaleel White's a good buddy of mine, uh, played Steve Urkel, yeah. and I told him when we became buds, I was like, dude, I had your fucking doll when I was a kid and it had a pull string and it had all the catchphrases. And I go, that to me is so crazy. And because to get to a point to where you're that, because, you know, toys, they don't just make them for anything. There has to be a serious demand and market and for people to go, oh, there's enough of an audience, there's enough of a, um, you know, fan base demo for kids to want to, you know, get those and and play with them. And to have that is, was there some sort of big, I don't know, premiere party when it came out or did they just go, Hey, it's on the shelves. Go check it out. Oh, like they, how that... uh, they had, I think, I don't know where, I don't remember where they where they brought it out, but I think it was one, probably one of the the ex, fight expos or oh, something. Yeah, yeah. they used to do that UFC. When you saw it, was it like crazy? Expo. Like, oh, it's cool, man. Yeah. I, yeah, I was like, yeah, oh yeah, man, it's cool. Like, I'm like, man, toy. I made it. I'm a toy. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm a toy. Yeah, I got that in the video game. Yeah, I, yeah. I still got it to this day. Like a lot of it was like younger kids. You know, like you know, I've been retired for the most part. I've been retired for. Since uh, 2010, yeah. So, um, so I see a lot of kids. I play you on a video game. You know, they know me from playing me on the video game. Which is got, that's still, crazy. I'm still good on the video. I'm still my character's still good on the video game. So. Still, are you really? That's it. I guess. I, yeah. I, that's what have they, you played as yourself? They tell me. I have, but I'm not very good, so I don't like to play with mine. Yeah, because I because I'm not real good at it, so I tend to like get beat up. So I, I play <laughs> with guys. Like, so I play with Tito. You know, I play. <laughs> dude, that's amazing. It somehow makes you insecure about your actual real life skills because you can't win in the game. Yeah, no, that's all right. no, I'll, I'll play with Tito so he gets a butt kicked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then that's I, amazing. Then either way, then I win either way. Either I win the video game or totally. Tito, Tito gets beat up. So <laughs> yeah, oh, it's worked out. There's a yeah. There's a whole new audience to become Chuck fans from that, which is really cool. And the uh, I mean, I don't know if you if you're a big gamer in general, but like even seeing buddies of mine that like are on Twitch nonstop and like with the headsets and the first person shooter games, like and the money that some of these kids are making too from Twitch is you know makes me feel like I, I chose the wrong career. But uh, do you like to? Have you done something like that with a headset where you engage with I, you know, fans? I, I haven't done it. I've had a couple people come to me about doing it, and I, I mean, I'm interested in doing it. Was like, I mean, but I'm, I'm really not that good. Yeah. I, and I, I used to like um, Halo. I used to play. We used to play that. Yeah. Uh, back in the day, when you had to, to have a game, we'd have two. We had two, two different. We had controllers up with cords and everything connected. Oh yeah. We had two different. We had four on fours with uh, two different. Oh yeah. Consoles. Oh yeah. In the uh, in opposite room, yes. so we were sitting there with. It's so the best. It was it was it was pretty cool because you all and I like that. You're, I I mean, it's just kind of like this whole Zoom thing. I'm I'm not used to it. Yeah. I like the fact that we have eight of our buddies at the house. Yeah. And then and afterwards, you get to pop off to each other. You know, you get to, yeah, yeah, you get to talk shit to each other afterwards oh, or, yeah. or during or yeah. screaming, yeah, pussy. Yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, 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 try it out. Take that yeah. one. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, yeah, the, the, some of those graphics, though, like my brother is. Well, it's like, like, uh, like, like, like we used to play uh, Tech Mobile. Or, oh, yeah. Or the first, Mad- the first couple Madden. Still like, the I, best. The first couple Maddens, I used to be decent at. Yeah. But then, then it got to the point, like, I, we, they got to the point, like, my brother used to play. play. By the time I got, he, the, the new game had come out, right? By the time I got to playing him. He'd have played like two seasons, oh my God. and like, and I'm like, I get out there and it's like, I get the, I get the best team on there. He's got the worst team. He'll take the f- worst team, and he's like, I can't stop him from scoring. Yeah. He crushes me. I'm like, okay, this is no fun. Like, yeah. I can't even, I can't do anything. Like, yeah, yeah. Kick you during the <laughs> game. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The way I get stop you is kick your <laughs> kick your hand while you're playing. You know. Oh, the tricks that you pull when you're playing against a sibling video. I mean, I had a, a best friend Avery Garmeyer across the street. We played Madden '95. He'd come over, if I was about to get a pick six to win the game, he would slap the controller out of my hands, tackle me to the ground, make sure that I, the, the, the clock would run out, he would win, then stand up, walk out, and walk across the street, and then scream from his window, I'll see you tomorrow! And I was like, yeah. And then I'd be like, yeah, all good. Like, it was just like a part of the game, which was like, kick each other's ass and then pick it up uh, the next day. Um, well, we have uh, just a few more minutes left before we wrap up this first episode, which has been great. 
How do you feel? I feel great, man. Float. An hour flies yeah, by. Yeah, it's a long time. I think one thing we, uh, you know, that'll be cool as we get going is uh, integrating, you know, some some more fan engagement with, you know, questions. And I think video calls at some point would be really cool just to get some. Because I know, just even you telling me some of the fan encounters you've had, I'm like, man, I want to see that live in the flesh. So if we get some sort of a screen going on where we get calls coming in, whether it's voicemails or they're live, um, just to see you interact because... Uh, that's an extra cool element to this whole show, I think, that'll, that fans yeah. will dig. I mean, yeah, if we can do it, I love, love live. Yeah. Because you... then you never know what they're going to say. <laughs> well, <laughs> dude, it makes it interesting. They don't know what they're going to say, and that's why fucking, you know, the show being called Icebreakers uh, is, is so cool because, uh, you know, I think in both of our worlds, first impressions coming out of the gate strong is definitely, like, uh, a big deal. And I want to ask you, do you have a go-to icebreaker? Did you have an icebreaker uh, first date with your wife. I want to know icebreaker when you uh, get into the ring. Is there something you say to somebody to kind of like fucking, you know, make your uh, your mark known? Um, do you have a go-to icebreaker in life if you're just at a well, social you know, event? What do you mean? I, icebreaker? What do you mean? About, for a fight? Like, yeah. usually if I'm, usually back in the day, what was it? all it was was, what the fuck did you say? Oh, shit. And you got, and you got, you got about, you got a, Whoa, hey, that, yeah. was, yeah, yeah, that yeah. needs to be your answer. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on a yeah, second. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I've grown up since then. Yeah, a little bit. It takes a little, a little more than that. But, um, I, you know, I, I was always, I, I'm not known for my, for talking a lot, but like I, I'm always guy, guy, I would walk up to anybody, hey, how you doing? Yeah. Like I'll just walk up, to, like my, I think my wife, I just, I walk, hey, how you doing? What are you up to? Oh, you want me to get you a shot? We were at a bar, so I'm like, hey, you want, you want, you want, you want a drink? Oh, yeah. And then I, I think, it, like, oh, I'm with four people. I'm like, yeah, sure. Get, they can all have drinks. Let's go. Oh. Yeah. So you're, you're, you're direct and forward. I, I'm really, yeah. I, I <clears> was, I was, I, yeah, I think it would be a little weird for people sometimes because I will come up, like, I just come up and go, hi, how you doing? <laughs> and I wouldn't say much. And they're like, no, what do you want? Take my money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it went, and I, you know, I didn't realize, I've, 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 over the years, I've learned, you know, I'm, I'm one of those guys, like, like, people expect me to like want to eat their children or something like yeah. it's, it's like I can walk up and but you know the funny thing is like I get I get I get a real it's a real advantage in some some ways because I'm so laid back and 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 quiet for the most part totally is that you know I meet people and they expect me to be so aggressive and and angry I think I don't know or mean <laughs> but but if I just if I treat them normal they go hey Chuck I met Chuck the other day he was such a nice guy I'm like my, my, my wife. Like, what did you do? This guy said you're so nice. Yeah, I'm like, um, I said hello and I told him my name. I, think. I, I guess I, I didn't I, kill him. Is that why I'm a nice guy? The I bar's said, pretty low. I, I said, uh, I, said I, I think I just said hi. How are you doing? And, yeah. Hey, nice meeting you. Yeah, yeah. I think that was about the extent of our conversation. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah. know how that's being a nice guy, but yeah. okay, I'll take it. That's does that ever get in your head to like be to to come off intimidating and and almost do you find yourself like overcompensating to be like you know, soft and sweet so that people are like comfortable or, you know, I, I, you know, I don't think about it enough. I just, yeah. I think for, for you are who you are. I, just, I am who I am. Yeah. I forget about it. I mean, my wife tells me, look, smile. Like we're out. We're like, That's we're out. big actually. Just smile. Just do me a favor and smile. Cause if That's you, if, if, if you're not smiling or out, people think you want to kill somebody. <laughs> yeah. Cause people like she'll be talking to somebody, some guy and he'll be like, um, I think your husband's mad at me. Like she's like, he doesn't even know you're talking to me. Like, oh yeah, like a thousand percent. Like, and if he did, he doesn't care. Yeah. Like, he's, yeah. he's just fine. Yeah. Like, this is actually a great uh, thing to end on because I think there is something to be said about not smiling. There's a comic buddy of mine, uh, Neil Brennan, who actually told me when he was editing his special, he's like, I realized in watching and editing it, he's like, I needed to smile more because my resting face wasn't like was a little off putting and wasn't like making me as likable as I can be. So I want to uh, uh, close this on. I want to see both of our fight faces, right? So that's your cam. Uh, we'll go. The, so that's Chuck's, right? All right, and that's mine. So uh, you go first. This is the no smile. This is the fight face. It's Chuck's fight face. Yeah, that's fucking. That's a pro. That's yeah. I mean, pee came out of every hole that I have in my body. That's fucking Jesus Christ. I'm giving palpitations. I, that's fucking yeah. That's terrifying. That's and do you did you always have that or do you have to work to that? That just comes I, out of you know what I I was you know I got got it for when people want me to do it out of nowhere with no, for no reason yeah oh people I, ask you like no, I just no, think like, to pimp no, it no, out people, no like no, yeah do a stare around with this guy like and I'm like you know what I'm gonna give him an experience of when I really want don't like somebody yeah so I was learning a, a thing about 
about acting. They were saying about, you know, to give to deliver lines, if you want to have what kind of feeling you're supposed to have for this line, think of something that makes you yeah. feel that. Yeah. Now deliver the line. Yeah. And you can tell. So in my head, I think of someone I really don't like. And I when I'm staring him down, I'm thinking like I'm staring him down. Wow. And that makes I mean and and it helps. I, and I and I, I don't I, it's funny, my buddy I got a buddy that has me do it, loves watching me do that to people because I I get it all the time. Oh, shit. Give me the Chuck face, yeah. Like, oh, it's fucking terrifying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would but love that, to know the that's guy. How, but that's that's how, how that's how I do it. I would love to know the person that created that face. Like, and I would I would also love if it wasn't like a fight related story. If it was just like, look, man, I went to Cold Stone Creamery once, and the guy was oh, a dick, and well, I still it, think it, about it, Caleb. It, 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 no, it'll be like scoop my shit be, wrong. It'll be like it was something where I I bit my tongue and just didn't do, like. Yeah. I, someone did something where I'm like pissed off. Yeah. Earlier that day, you whatever, held it I was in. Like, oh, Okay. That guy. I'm gonna think of that guy right now. Yeah. All right. What, here. What, 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 if it, in a, in, if I was an old me, I would have slapped this yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah. In broad daylight. Yeah. Oh. All right. I'm gonna give my fight face, and if you have a, qu- a couple quick pointers while I'm doing it. <clears throat> See, for me, a lot of blinking, like so they think I might have a twitch, right? Is, yeah. is my is my kind of pull? Like yeah. And then. They mean think you're. And spe- then I, think you have a problem. Yeah, I might have a, a <laughs> facial tick, and then. And I'll do that every now and then just to fucking throw them off. You know, that's my version of a flex. And then, and then I'll that's, uh, yeah, lick, that, 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 that throws them off. That's definitely scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. That was, All right. That was, it, it's not scary. Creepy. <laughs> <laughs> creepy might be the word, but yeah, okay. Yeah. That'll get me 15 feet away from most cheesecake factories. Um, well, this was awesome. The fucking best. Icebreakers, episode one in the can. Fuck yeah, dude.